Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rizet with Build Box. In this video, I wanted to bust out a few more of the presets that Danny made, and I'm going to show you a couple easy game dev techniques that you can use to get the most out of the software. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to open up a Jetpack preset that Danny made, and I'm going to show you how to do something cool. All right, so this is the Jetpack preset, and let me go ahead and just play it for you so you can get a preview of it. I'll make it nice and big. Now there's a couple different ways that you can look at the preview of a game. You can use iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPad, Full HD, and iPhone X. So let's go with Full HD because it's real big and it's real clear. So we'll go ahead and hit start and you can see we got this awesome little game. I think a lot of you have probably seen this one before. So uh, this is a the Jetpack preset. And we've got a little character who's jumping around, and you can hold the button down, and it kind of works like a jetpack, like a steam, and it, you can hold it down. And you can hold it down for, I think, like 100 seconds is what we have it set to um, before you are automatically dropped down, before you have to press the jetpack button again. And there's a way you can check that even. So you can select character over here on the left, and then on the right, we can check our jump timeout and it's set to 100. So that means you can hold down the jump button for 100 seconds before it finally times out. But that's not what I really wanted to show you today. What I really wanted to show you is how to make it so that your character can also fire bullets. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I'm gonna go to my mind map real quick and I'm gonna go to my world UI. Now, right now the way it's set up is we've got this jump button that's covering up the entire screen. So if you click here, 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 anywhere on the screen, it's going to jump and make the character jump. So let's go ahead and cut this in half and I'm going to make half the screen be jumping. And then I'm going to add in a character button over here on the left side. And this one, I'm gonna make it so that it's shooting. So let me go ahead and just stretch it out here so it covers up all of the other half of the screen. And that's about good, that looks about right. So now we need to set this character button to shooting. So we're gonna go over here to function and then I'm gonna just select shoot. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna go back to my mind map, I'm gonna go to my world, and now I'm gonna add in a little bullet. So let's see here, I've got connection mode turned on. So I'm gonna turn off connection mode. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see it a little bit better. And right now we've got this character who's just hanging out there, but we don't have any bullets or anything set up for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab an image that Danny made for a bullet, and I'm gonna drop it in as an object. Okay, so there we've got our little bullet object. And so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set this over here right in front of the character, right where I'd want the bullet to kind of come out. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take this bullet, and I'm going to change the preset to character bullet, super easy. And it's really nice because when you set it to character bullet, it changes the linear velocity in the X direction to 20, so it's automatically gonna start going to the right and work like a character bullet. I think this is kind of designed for like platformers and stuff like that. So it sends the bullet 20 in the right directions. It has the linear velocity set there, but you can change it to any direction you want. It's not stuck like that. You can make it go this direction or up or down or to the side. So don't think that you're confined to just going 20 in the X direction. So the next thing we need to do is add a spawner component to this. Now I'm going to change the spawn rate to about, I don't know, 2.3, okay? And so now you can see that this little green arrow and this red dot here, that signifies that you've implemented a spawner. So the next thing I need to do is I need to change the spawn action to shooting. And then that way when I hit the shoot button, it's going to shoot the little bullet. And now the other thing I need to do is I need to make sure this shooting capability is hooked up to the character. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my option button on my keyboard, and I'm going to hold it down and just hook it up. The other way you can do this is click activate connection mode and you can hook it up there. So let's zoom in here and take a look at this. So right now I've got my character and it's hooked up to my spawner bullet right here, my character bullet. So I'm gonna move this back right about here and I'm gonna zoom out again. And so now what I do, should do is when I hit the left side of my screen, it should sh make the character shoot the bullet. And then when I'm on the right side of my screen, it should make the character jump. So let me go ahead and also hook up this to my keyboard because I wanna make it so that I can hit my keyboard and make it and shoot as well. And then I will click on this side to make the character jump. So I'm gonna go back to my mind map, go back to my world UI. 
and I'm gonna hook up this keyboard key right down here to the bottom. I'm just gonna hit my space bar, and so now when I hit the space bar, it's gonna automatically make the character shoot. So I'm gonna go back to my world here, and then let's go ahead and check this out. So we're gonna play the game, and then I'm jumping over here on the right side, and then when I hit the space bar, I can shoot bullets, and it's awesome. So if you set it so that the enemies are have a little bit of health, then it takes two bullets to make the character to be de or to make the enemy be defeated. You can also make it so that the bullet does more than one damage, and you can set all of this super super easy in BuildBox. But it's really easy to add a little character bullet to your game. So the right side is jumping, the left side is bullets, and so you can play with two thumbs and just have a kind of a side to side control action. Okay, great, so let me exit out of this. And just as a peek, I wanna show you exactly how you can set the bullet to have more than one damage. You select your bullet over here on the left under the objects menu, and then you go over here to the right and you add a component and then you add damage. And so now you can add a damage of, let's say two. Um, so that now when we shoot these enemies, it should destroy the enemies pretty easily. And let's make sure that the enemies, see I can, yeah, I already just am checking right now. The enemies, I knew something was up because the, uh, the enemies were taking two bullets, which meant that they definitely had a health going on, and you can see here that they had a health of two. So now, it sh I, I could also just get rid of this health. So let's say I got rid of the health here, I just deleted it, and I can go over here to my bullet, and then delete the damage component as well, and so now, each time I shoot the enemy, it will take uh, it will defeat the enemy and with one bullet so that's perfect it's working exactly right but one thing I'm noticing is that the bullets are destroying the character a little bit before they're actually making contact and so I think that has something to do with the collision shape so let's check on that real quick so I'm gonna exit out of the preview I'm gonna go to my bullet and I'm gonna go up here to my right and check the collision shape okay just like I thought the collision shape is a little bit big so all we need to do is shrink this down a little bit so that it's a little bit closer it can be a little bit outside of the character bullet and I could even I can zoom in here so you can see it a little bit better and let's just for funsies let's get it nice and exact as close as we can get it to and if you ever need to make this even more exact you can also just select one of the nodes then press the plus button and then more nodes will appear so if you want to make it a little bit more of like a rounded edge here just like this you totally can and you can do that for all of these it's super easy I'll just click on the node I'll add one more node here to with the plus sign and then I'll do the same thing for these others as well. So make this a little bit more rounded. Okay, and I'll do this one more time. And we're good, okay, cool. So I just need to move this out of here because you can't have it, watch this, if you move it in here, it's concave and you can't have that, they gotta be convex. And then, yep, this looks about good. It looks, it's not perfect, but I think it's good enough. So now we're going to exit out of this and you're going to see that when we preview it, the bullet is going to actually make contact with the enemy and it's going to defeat the enemy. It's going to look a little bit cleaner. So let's go ahead and preview this. Okay, so I'm going to jump on the right side with my mouse and I'm shooting and now you can see the character bullet makes goes all the way and makes contact with the enemy and it looks a little bit cleaner, looks a little bit more professional. All right, well that's it for this video. If you thought this video was useful and you want to see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel.